This is Greece's first and most important line of defense, alert squadrons of Mirage 2000 and F-16 fighters. They fly around the clock and their maintenance is intensive. It is performed here at Hellenic Aerospace Industry, or EAV, a sprawling 400-acre complex. EAV is a rare public sector success. It has a co-production agreement with Lockheed Martin to build 30% of the parts for all F-16s sold worldwide, as well as the barrel sections of the C-130 transport. Half its order book is maintenance and upgrades for NATO fleets in Europe and U.S. allies in the Middle East, so it's a rare high-tech exporter. EAV is now a victim of its own success. It'll soon have more than a billion dollars worth of orders, all due in the next two years. That's three times what its human resources can currently accomplish, because austerity has forced it to shed almost half its personnel. The company says it's in danger of leaving its clients grounded. We have lost highly specialized personnel because of the country's economic difficulties. We've largely managed to honor our contracts, but we're seriously short-staffed. Only by hiring more expert staff can we meet our obligations. Greece's creditors don't allow it to increase the state payroll or to underwrite any more loans. And even though the company now makes ends meet on income of $120 million, it spends twice that paying off past political mismanagement. Without EAV, the Hellenic Air Force would be grounded, so its strategic importance keeps it off the list of companies Greece has to privatize. But some experts say that could be exactly what it needs. It will continue to operate with its hands tied, tied behind its back, and it will not be able to fulfill its, its, its full potential. Uh, it will not be able to exploit any business opportunities uh, that may appear on the screen and it will continue to function at a loss uh, for its shareholders, which is actually the Greek state. So it's, it's a situation which helps no one. EAV has been spared the probable fate of the rest of Greece's defense industry, sell-off or closure. Now the company that helps keep Greece and its allies flying seeks permission for takeoff. John Saropoulos, Al Jazeera, at the Tanagra Air Force Base in central Greece.